Bethesda have finally announced The Elder Scrolls VI, and here is everything we'd like to see. So, Matt, they've finally done it. They've announced The Elder Scrolls VI. They have. They haven't told us very much. In fact, they've probably told us almost nothing, but that's not going to stop us looking at what snippets of information they've given us and wildly speculating as to what some of them might mean. Educated speculation, Matt. Educated. Wild, educated. Close enough. So the one thing we can actually glean from what Bethesda actually showed at E3 is the setting. We know where it is, right? Uh, uh, sort of, yeah. We know it's, it, it has mountains in it, which sort of narrows it down to most of Tamriel. But I have mm, like a, there is that. Yeah. like a, almost a feeling or, or a desire for, for a particular place where I'd like it to be, and that's the Rothgarian Mountains. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be one area. So I think traditionally all the Elder Scrolls games they pick a place and you normally get a sort of an insight into the, the, the race that lives there. So Skyrim did that, Morrowind did that. I feel like now is probably the time where they're either going to go somewhere completely different yep. or you're going to have more than one area. Now obviously Elder Scrolls Online encompasses all of Tamriel, so there's an element of us having seen all of these places, um, but it doesn't necessarily feel like the, the fullest representation of those, those worlds as you would get from a, like a numbered Elder Scrolls game. So, this is a very long-winded way of saying, I think it will be the Rothgarian Mountains, I think the, 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 the race that it will focus on will be the Orcs, and I think because politically they are probably one of the most interesting races. And then by doing that you can include Hammerfell, um, and people are saying that they think it might be Hammerfell because one of the, the shots in the trailer is this massive great big crater. And there's a uh, weapon in all of the Elder Scrolls games, or I think in most of the Elder Scrolls games, that is uh, allegedly responsible for making that crater mm -hmm. and giving the name to that area, which is Hammerfell. So it's a hammer that was crafted by the Dweamer and then the, the, the chieftain of this tribe threw the hammer, lands in the ground, makes a big crater, and that's how the place gets its name. So I think that's potentially where it's going to be. And by doing that, it gives you a really interesting setting because it allows you to bring in the orcs because the Rothgarian and Dragontail Mountains are basically mm -hmm. at the far north of Hammerfell. And it also means that because the orcs live in High Rock, which is the Breton homeland, you have this really interesting uh, political element because essentially like we don't want to go into sort of like deep Wikipedia ter territory here but the, um, the Orcs are kind of like they're, they're known as the pariah folks they're like a race that throughout the history of the Elder Scrolls has been uh, persecuted and whenever they build their cities up to a, a point where they're kind of uh, where they can compete with the other big races the cities often get sacked and that happened uh, slightly before Skyrim I think as well so like Orsinium has been moved again, or Sinium is the York capital city. So, like, if you look at the Elder Scrolls games, they always have an element of uh, like political intrigue or a race that's sort of at a turning point. It feels like this would be just an amazing opportunity to show that with the Orcs. So I think, like, you know, that they are elves, but no one sees them as such. Um, they're a persecuted people. So you could even, you know, you could potentially be telling a uh, a really interesting story that has some kind of modern resonance, um, depending on how you look at it, um, but also has orcs and axes. So clearly we know exactly where it's going to be set now, obviously. <laughs> I'm not quite sure I proved that, Definitely. it was more just what I want. But. Yeah, science. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but when's it going to be set? Because obviously uh, Skyrim was early in the fourth age, so mm -hmm. do you think it'll be fourth age, fifth age? I personally don't think it'll go to the fifth age because I think there's a lot of fourth age left and, and you know, there are sort of big events happening there, but they usually kind of rest upon some huge cataclysm that kind of uh, you know, pushes you into the next age. I don't think the end of Skyrim was that, as, as big of a deal as it was. Mm -hmm. um, so I it's think a pretty big deal. It was a big deal, but I, I, yeah, I think um, I think it will be chronological because all the historical games have been. Yeah. So I think we're just going to, you know, it'll, I, I feel like there's enough happening at Skyrim that didn't, at the end of Skyrim, that didn't get resolved, that you kind of want to see where the, the, that politically goes. So yeah, that's my, uh, it's my guess. It's just a guess. Right. So that's the when sorted. Now. We did kind of have where sorted, but it is possible, possible at least, that it might not be in Tamriel at all. It could be a completely different continent. Yeah, absolutely. And indeed, we could see other races as well, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a thing that, that people have been speculating around for a while. Um, and Akavir is this sort of mysterious continent that, that we've never actually seen in an Elder Scrolls game. You get a lot of stuff about it, like a lot of the types of weapon and yeah. armor um, allude to this, this sort of mysterious Akavir race. Um, and it's, uh, it's populated by a, a race of mysterious, uh, I'm, I'm saying mysterious a lot, 
Um, <laughs> they, they must be really, really mysterious. Yeah, they're, they're so mysterious, mysterious that's okay. like no one knows anything about it. Um, <laughs> but they do know that they're vampiric snake men. Um, so right. they weren't mysterious enough to hide that fact. Which is, you know, <laughs> it seems seems important. Yeah, uh, I've been higher on my list of things. Yeah. To, are you a vampire? Absolutely. I mean, no, 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 no. No, that's 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 him. So yeah, they're called the Sayasi. They're from Akbir. So if it does go there, we might see a new playable race, which is something we haven't had previously in Elder Scrolls in quite a long time. We do have another race in the game. Um, the one I would like to see most are the Slodes. Do you know what? Have you ever heard of the Slodes? The Slodes. Slodes. With a D or with a T H. With a D, but also there is a there is a slothy element to them. So they're they're kind of like slug men. Um, they're like giant slug men. You're never going to get sure to play them because they're biology. humongous. <laughs> yeah, I think are a little bit different, but um, <clears throat> interesting. Okay, right. Uh, they do sound like huge slug men. What do they do? Uh, they're um, they're often necromancers, and they're known in uh, Elder Scrolls as the most hated race in all of the world. So, I mean, that's Quite one thing you top. have in common with them. Thank you. Um, Good, yeah. <laughs> but that would be a really, be a really interesting to see, because I think so far the only, like, the only incarnation that I'm aware of of them in game is uh, soap, which slowed soap, which I guess, uh, and maybe Hope is making their plans. So there you go, everything you need to know about the Elder Scrolls 6. However, if you think we might have missed one or two points, or maybe you've got your own ideas about where the game might be set, when it might be set, or anything else, please let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos throughout E3.